Dan Radial Style. Hope everybody out there is having themselves a great day. Are you being blocked? Are you seeing blockages? Literally, does it feel like the road closure sign goes down? Every place you go, you're seeing red lights popping up. You always see the guard rail come down right as you're about to approach the bridge, right? Is that what it feels like to you when you're manifesting right now? Now, I will agree, and I think many of us know this. Some of the easier manifestations we don't have this problem with, right? And that's part of it, just in and of itself. Easier manifestations. But there are things in life, in my opinion, that are simpler. Some don't require a bunch of people, a bunch of moving parts, and some do. So many of us have this dream in mind. We've got some sort of thing we're trying to accomplish. And road blockages, believe it or not, are actually a manifestation. It's a manifestation in and of itself. And it gives us an indication as to what we're potentially doing wrong. And that is why we should always look at what's happening on the outside, not as reality, not as how things are going to be forever, but how things are right now in this transitory moment, and also where I've been internally recently. What happens on the outside of you, what is expressed in the outside world, is a reflection of what's happening inside of yourself. So you're seeing blockages because blockages are inside of you. This is how your higher self lets you know what you need to do. If you're on your way to a destination and you hit traffic, do you turn around and go another way? Or do you realize there's traffic and you handle it accordingly? Maybe you just deal with it and you get some patience and know it's going to take some time. Maybe you choose a completely different route, right? You might try something different. You might even try taking a different mode of transportation knowing there's going to be crazy traffic. So the adage goes, when the universe closes a door, they will open a window. And that is what we always need to keep inside our minds. That is the thing that no matter what, that is your get out of jail free card when it comes to road blockages. That is the thought that forever should stop the concern about blockages. Because you see the blockage, I see the road closed, I'm like, oh no, I can't get past, there's a road closed. And immediately your mind should say, there must be another way. And the universe is showing me. But there are numbers of people that will walk up to this road closed sign like a duck and just walk right into the sign and just not wonder why, why can't I go forward? I don't know why duck's what I chose, but it is. These are in our path for a reason. They're meant to immediately remind you that there's always another way. A window is open somewhere. Awesome. I'll just need to find it. It needs to show itself to me. And again, the second you open yourself up to that is almost invariably the second you'll look over there and you'll be like, huh, there's my window. It's how it works. It's what it's meant to show you. Life is supposed to be, like, you should be able to manifest whatever you want, unquestionably. But, and there is a caveat on that, we're also on a spiritual journey in this life. And in that spiritual journey, we need to mature spiritually. So manifestation is also an amazing way to demonstrate that to us, to be able to grow to make some changes, to realize maybe I'm doing something a little wrong. So four basic things that I felt would be some really good tips and tricks to keep an eye on if you're seeing road closures. Now, if you've got no road closures, sweet. If you happen to come across one in the near future, eh, now you know what to do. But four great tools, four great tips, four great tricks. Change the way you view your manifestation. This is tip one, okay? Destination versus journey. A lot of people see it as a place I'm going and stopping. This is a place I'm going to go and I'm going to have my thing and that's it. But that is not ever how life works. Even if you're trying to manifest a relationship, you're not going to a point to have a relationship and then forever you still shall stay there. But no, you start to live your life with another individual or a new job you want. Well, what's your life look like after the job occurs. It's not a destination. It's a journey 
with significant little things that happen along the way. That's what our bigger manifestations are. It's the things along the way. So when we refrain from seeing it as a destination, then we stop feeling like something is keeping me from where I'm going. You're always going where you're going. And sometimes we need to adjust our course, like the traffic in the road. Sometimes you need to appreciate the fact that you're on a journey. There's no other way to look at it. You can hate this advice, or you can actually stop for a second and go, this is the problem. This is where I'm at with it. It's a journey. You're not going to be done when you get there. There's going to be a next step of manifestation that you're going to want to work on after. And folks, 100% of the time, we're always manifesting. Always manifesting by what you think, what you say, and what you do. Always, 100% of the time. Techniques are meant to help you focus what you think, what you say, what you do. Look at all your techniques. That's what they do. They help you focus what you think, what you say, what you do. Period. You're always manifesting. Now, something to keep in mind, too. A lot of us make mistakes because we set something, sometimes a destination, but we set a journey point, if you will, that's really far away. That's a big leap. Example, maybe we're currently making $15 an hour and our manifestation is $50 an hour. Now, you might be able to pull off a few things here and there, some art jobs, $50 an hour, but you're like, why can't I get more of this? Well, there's reasons for that. Or, you might be trying to meet somebody that you've, you know, never even talked to before. You might be trying to get them to just show up at your front door, and it might be some famous person or something, right? And you're kind of trying to take a larger leap when there are incremental steps that would serve you better. So you've got blocks because basically in your mind, it's too big a jump. Can't do it. Can't make it. No way. How could I possibly get all the way there? There's no way. It's no way. So when you set it slower, say that famous person, well, now you can just try to manifest meeting them in person, being able to shake their hands, being able to say something to them. That's significantly better than just hoping their car breaks down in front of your house and they happen to come to your door because their cell phone's not working and they're like, do you have a cell phone I can borrow? And you're like, oh my God, I manifested this. Okay, it could happen, but there's a lot of easier steps that you might be able to manifest easier and quicker. And the same goes with the job right? $50 an hour thing. Maybe you are doing the artwork or, or more. I'm just grabbing numbers, right? And maybe that's the plan. I want to do artwork and I can get about $50 an hour. All right. Well, that's cool. And one, I think that's kind of a minimal way of thinking it, even in my own example. But if you're currently making $15 an hour, then the way you can increment that is I'd like to see my income grow. I'd like to see it grow quickly. I'd like to see myself able to make use of these $50 an hour moments more often. And what you'll find is better job opportunities come up. Maybe that promotion comes up where you're currently at. Now, all of a sudden, you're making $18, $19 an hour. Whoa. Well, there's an interesting step towards your plan. And then maybe from that $19 an hour, you learned a couple extra skills. Maybe a job jump, and now you're making $25. And so it's sometimes the way we look at things, and it's just too big a jump for us to make. Now, one thing, and this is going to be tough for a lot of people, I think probably the younger you are, it's going to be more of a, a problem than the older you get. But I think it works really across the board anyways, just not evenly. And this is not a disparaging remark, but this is acknowledging something that's kind of been programmed into all of us. Anyone that's involved in social media, anybody that's involved in any of this kind of stuff, we have what's called like programming. We love to see the likes. We want to see the likes. We want that instant feedback. And a lot of us will get kind of pissy with the universe and be like, well, if you don't show me, then I'm just not going to believe in you. And the universe is like, I don't care. You don't have to believe in me. And so little tantrums don't work or little attempts to get likes or to get attention from the universe don't work or to try to te test it. And this is one of the thing that a lot of us do is we do this with signs and symbols. We'll start trying to manifest signs and symbols in order to show us something but really, we're no longer manifesting what it is that we were trying to manifest. Now we're actually just manifesting signs and symbols. So we can get into this weird place where like programming will get us kind of off the beaten path or too worried about what we see in front of us. And sometimes you need to just feel in your heart and be determined in your efforts and just continue moving through the journey, regardless 
of what is sitting in front of you and whether or not there's somebody standing there with a thumbs up. It's not what we're going for. Finally, talking to others about what you're trying to accomplish. One of the biggest roadblocks that you will ever create in your life is talking to other people. Now, let me clarify and let me quantify this. It's very important for people to understand. I'm not against having friends that are open and you talk to people that are into manifesting and you can talk about your manifestations. Totally cool. But what invariably happens, even with the best friends, with the best intentions, with the best uh, hearts and the best uh, manifestors you know, is you ultimately, as a person, are curious what's going on with them. And so you'll ask them, did so-and-so text you? You're trying to manifest that. Did they text you? No, not yet. Not, not. So it forces you to look at your right now moment. And it may force you to look at your right now moment when maybe you're just not prepared to look at your right now moment because you're focused on looking ahead, because you're determined, because you're doing the things every day and you know you're getting there. You know you're heading to your destination slash journey, right? Your next, your next point of interest. You know you're heading there. But then somebody invariably asks you something that forces you to look down at your feet. And I don't see what I want to see right now. And now I have to acknowledge that. That creates blockages. It creates doubts. It creates literal blockages. And again, these people mean it with the best intentions. I would ask it from the best intentions. But if you haven't crossed that, that, uh, that threshold yet, well then... Now you've got to tell me you don't have it. And now that starts to bring up doubts, questions. It's not that it's not working. I know it's working. I just keep doing it. Right? right? And that puts us into that weird place. Easiest way to avoid that, stop talking about your manifestations until after they're done. And then people can say, however did you do that? And you'll be like, yeah, so I use these techniques. It's kind of what you focus on, what you think, what you say, what you do. is creates reality. I know that. I've been living like that forever. So, you know, these things are happening. That's totally awesome because you're driving the new car. There's no, I'm going to get a car, watch. First off, if you say stuff like that, you'll manifest needing to still do it. I, one of the things we do our, a lot, I'm trying, I don't want to get off on the weeds here, but we'll say things like, ah, I need to do that. I need to get that taken care of. I need to paint that. I need to block. And, and you just create a, a state of forever not having it done yet because you need to do it. You've manifested a need to do it. Manifesting's a, Really cool thing when we use it appropriately. It's really kind of the new phase and new flavor of the shows that I'm kind of doing now, these weekly ones. It's not so much, can I manifest or can I? I've done over 900 videos of that. It's more an issue of, I know you can manifest, now what? How do I live with that? How do I bridge my next part of my life? How do I evolve and develop more? How do I get involved in the world and what's happening? And be more conscious, creator, with everyone else. There's a lot of factors and a lot of ways that we can expand how our manifesting works. And the small stuff and relationships and jobs are awesome. And that's really what's meant to teach us that we control our reality to a large extent. There are some things it seems that happen that I think just need to, that are a little maybe outside of our direct control. But for the most part, this is our movie and we're the stars. And we get to decide what we want to experience. And if we're not experiencing at this second, just keep pushing forward and realize it's there. I'm getting there. And I'm seeing a reflection of where I am. And if I'm seeing things I don't like, keep pushing forward. Try to learn what I can from where I'm at. And then understand, all right, this is cool. And again, it's determination. Just because I don't see it right now doesn't mean it's not there. A journey. Right? You got a thousand miles to go. You're 500 miles there. You don't see your destination. You don't see it. Someone says, are you there yet? No. The kid in the back seat. Are we there yet? When are we going to be there yet? When am I? Right? That's what most of us are doing to ourselves or that friend that's trying to help. Keep persistent. Don't listen to anyone else. You see that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow there? Move my head so you can see it, right? See that pot of gold? That's what you want to get. That's what you focus on. Keep that in your, your hearts, your thoughts, your minds, your words, your deeds. Keep all of that in your thoughts, your minds, your words, your deeds. Keep moving in that direction. And that is what you'll experience. Always. It's how it works. Dan Radio style.